Democracy is going through a difficult time. Disillusion with politics is rife. Is it time for a different or hybrid system? Can we be ruled by technocrats and do they really know best? Democracy has lost momentum. Dramatic declines have been seen in every region of the world. Democracy watchdog Freedom House says 2017 was the 12th consecutive year of the downturn. 71 countries went backwards, more than double those that made any gains. Countries that a decade ago seemed like promising success stories, critics now say are sliding into authoritarian rule. In 2015, Myanmar was being celebrated for its transition towards democracy. But 2017 saw the renewed persecution of the Rohingya Muslim minority and the repression of journalists. And the land of the free is retreating from its traditional role as a democratic champion. We saw a concerted effort by Russians to interfere with the 2016 presidential election. We have been quite concerned about the large number of lies and misstatements that have been made by the president and documented by independent fact checkers. There's also been corruption, the mixing of business and public interests. These would be things that we would look at in other countries and we are noting them in the United States. Technocracy advocates argue the democratic system is unprofessional, overly politicized, corrupt and ineffective. A society managed by scientists and engineers would be more rational and productive. Singaporeans handed rule of their society to a one-party technocracy, and it's an economic powerhouse with the second busiest port and the third highest per capita income in the world. Ukraine's outgoing economy minister called technocracy the only hope for lasting change two years after the 2014 revolution, when people were growing tired of the slow pace of reform. I think we really need to use this opportunity to bring in a completely different you know, uh, set of people with a completely different uh, mindset. In 2011, both Rome and Athens installed prime ministers with expertise in economics and finance to drive through tough austerity measures. Technocracy does have its proponents. Pew Research shows that while there's a global preference for representative democracy, the next best option is a system where experts, not elected politicians, call the shots. Praised as the answer to populism and political bickering, more often than not, technocracies are temporary solutions. Their skills complement whatever crisis a nation is facing, or they act as a caretaker until the next election. But with democracy under attack, can unelected experts rescue a faltering system?